Hi guys, um, this is going to be a really, really quick tutorial for um, Kathleen over on the Facebook page, the Deer and Fawn Facebook page. Um, she wants to know how I made these quick little project life cuts. So I'll do a quick demonstration on how I made these. This one here, I've used a bit of glass bead glitter. I don't know if you can see that really nice texture on it. It's come up really cool because you can see the pinks and the oranges through the glass glitter. Okay, so for these cards I just used um, manila. I buy um, packs of manila folders just from Kmart for three dollars I think they are for a whole pack and I cut them up into tags and stuff and I use them in my um, art journal and just to make tags and just to play around with because it's fun and it's cheap too so we'll start off with the smaller tag first I um, used my corner rounder and I just rounded the corners I have a very small supply of Distress inks. I am slowly starting to build them up because they're just they're awesome. So I think I might use the peacock feathers and maybe the should I do the orange? Go the orange? No, I might use the pink, the picked raspberry. And we'll start from there. I keep my little pads un in the underneath. They fit in there absolutely perfectly. And my distress tool. I'll just put that on down there. So when you're distressing, before you, you ink up your pad, before you start on the page, dap a little bit off and then you start from outside and you, you bring it in like so and you get a smoother run in like that. So dapping it off stops this from happening. See that? You get that full circle and you get that line. So just giving that little dap off the side just stops that from appearing on your work. So you just it's easy as that. I always come off the page and start in. like that. So now I might just add in some pink. It's easy as just ripping that one off. Put my pink one underneath. It's the same thing again. You can just blend it in there. I must have some ink on my hands. There we go. Love the way it sort of contrasts there. So I'm thinking I might actually do some more of the peacock feathers to darken it up a little bit. Make it a little bit darker. 
and it's just a matter of working with your blending tool and blending until you get the look that you want. I'm starting to get a purple over here, which I'm really liking. So you might just build on that a bit more. See? See how cool that looks? Can you see that? Okay, I might just... I do have another one of these tools somewhere. But I just couldn't find it. Wow, that's looking really cool. I'm liking those two colour combinations. So now what I might do, instead of using in in this one here, I used just a Kaiser Craft stencil. Just was only a cheap one. So this one I think I might use circle because we all know how much I love the circles. Um Run some circles down the side here. Maybe some black. I don't know. I haven't used the black before. See how it looks. It's all experimenting. It's all having some fun and having a play. It's the only way you're going to learn how things work out. So this is a distress ink as well, it's just the square one, or the rectangle one. And then I just... go over it with the black. Probably could have done that big circle there. Let's do the red. Oh, look at that. How good does that look? See that? See the effect you can get? And then I'll just move around the edges to darken up the edges a bit. There we go. So there's a quick tutorial on how I made these cards. Very, very simple, very, very easy. And just really fun to do. And now I can go and use this. I can make a, a greeting card out of this. I can use this on a scrapbook layout. I can put this in my art journal. Um, or I can use it as a project life in my layout spread. But there we go. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I'll see you all soon. Bye.